This tutorial explains how to get started with handle passes. It covers some training drills, surface passes and popped passes. Passing the bar requires practice before trying on the water. You must keep your hands centered on the bar to avoid rapid steering of the kite. The receiving hand is released, then both hands reach around the back. The bar is passed with knuckles down and palms up. Having both hands this way avoids flipping the bar by mistake. Also with palms up, if the kite pulls more than expected, the bar is easy to release. Practice this passing movement until you can do it fluidly. Also, you should not be making any mistakes that could steer the kite rapidly. So make sure you do not grab the bar ends and make sure to avoid twisting or turning the bar. Now, let's look at the surface pass. If you start by turning your front towards the kite, this is called a front side pass. If you start by turning your back towards the kite, this is called a backside pass. First, let's look at some front side surface passes. Not much speed is needed, just enough to stay on the surface. Place both hands in the center of the bar with the front hand placed on top of the back hand. This is because it's the front hand that will release first and reach around for the pass. Unhook and bring your back foot forwards, aiming downwind. The more you ride downwind at this point, the more you decrease line tension. Next, pull yourself very firmly towards the kite. If you move your body towards the kite enough, your line should become slack which will make passing easier. Pulling the bar in towards your back also provides some rotation. To rotate faster, swing your receiving hand as well as your head and body around. Slide gently on your toes so your board rotates freely. Reach behind your back to grab the bar. Once the bar is passed, some line tension will return and help finish the rotation. Let's look at another frontside pass, this time riding to the right. Managing speed and line tension are key to making surface passes easy. If you ride fully crosswind, your kite's line tension will be high and your board's edge will be firm. With these forces at play, you will struggle to pass the bar freely. The more you ride downwind towards the kite, the more you can reduce line tension, making the surface pass easier. Of course, if the wind is light and you head too far downwind, you may lose line tension completely and sink. Another way to reduce line tension temporarily is by using a strong pull of the bar. As you pull the bar, you ride quickly towards the kite. If you manage to close in on the kite, your lines will become slack for a moment while the kite catches up. This can buy you a second or two of complete line slack and also helps you to rotate. Let's review that and look at backside rotations this time. Many people will find these easier as you start by turning the nose downwind which helps cut line tension. Start with both hands centered and the back hand on top of the front hand since the backhand will be reaching around to receive the bar. Unhook and lean on your toe side to carve fully downwind. Pull the bar in towards your back firmly. Release your hand and swing it around together with your upper body. 
Pass the bar from hand to hand. Edge gently on your toes so the board can slide around. After passing, the small amount of line tension should pull you to face the kite. If you're losing speed, point your board crosswind and, if needed, steer the kite. Rehook by riding towards the kite or by grabbing the chicken loop. Let's look at that again, this time riding to the left. These examples were filmed with large fins on the board, which can make surface passes harder. The board will catch the water a bit more as you slide around. If you are struggling, you can swap to small fins or no fins. It also helps to practice in light wind and on flat water. Although the water in this example is a bit too shallow for safety. This location was selected for filming purposes only, not for training. With practice, your surface passes should become quick and fluid. After that, you can try adding a stomp down pop during the pass. Before you begin, it's important to note that this is not a normal kiteboarding pop. Normally, you edge very hard to increase line tension, which helps lift you. This pop, however, is done riding downwind, so uses no line tension. Rather, it utilizes board speed. Ride in quickly, turn downwind, stomp down hard, especially on the back foot. This creates a water ramp to launch from and also pushes your body up. You do this stomp down pop while also pulling in the bar, reaching around with the receiving hand and turning your body. You must be quick, but you can pass the bar during this pop. Let's look at another downwind pop with rotation, this time a front side rotation. Thanks for watching and good luck getting started with handle passes.